Did you know that the replace method of strings also accepts a callback function? The replace method of strings replaces substrings in a string that matches a specified pattern with a replacement. This replacement can either be a string replacement or a function replacement. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on in this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how relevant function replacements are and I'll be showing you some examples where they can be very useful. I'll be using this example here to show you how the replace method works with callback functions. First, let's look at the syntax of the replace method. The replace method accepts two arguments. The first argument is a pattern and the second argument is replacement. The first argument, which is pattern, can either be a string or a rejects pattern that is going to match some substrings within the whole string that you want to replace. And the replacement can either be a string, which you would more commonly find it as, or it can be a function, which I'll be explaining in this video. So let's see some examples. We have this phrase that says, I am 32 years old on the first let's say we have a string pattern that is 32 and let's say we have a string replacement that is y for example then here i can have a variable called replaced and then i can call the replace method on the phrase this phrase variable here and i can pass the pattern and i can pass the replacement console.log replace so that we we'll see what this looks like if i run this you can see we have i am y years old on the first that's because this string pattern matches this substring here and this substring has now been replaced with y now what if we wanted the rejects pattern let's say i wanted the rejects pattern that matches every number in this phrase with a backslash of D, I know that this matches every digit from 0 to 1. By putting the global flag, I know it's going to match every number in this string. If I come here and run this again, you can see I am YY years old on the Yst. <laughs> because 3 was matched and is replaced with Y, 2 was matched and 1 was also matched. Now let me go back to a string pattern so that I can show you why callback functions are nice. Now in this case of 32, what if I wanted to replace it with an advanced string like high hyphen hyphen the number let's say the number is x hyphen hyphen and when i use strings as patterns that is going to be easy because it is static so in the replacement here i can simply say hyphen hyphen 32 hyphen hyphen this is a static replacement and the reason why it is suitable is because we also have a static string pattern so if i come here and i run no test you see we have i am hyphen hyphen this is the number 32 years old on the first what if i use rejects pattern like we had before that matches every number i cannot have a static replacement here because this number is not static this pattern that we have here is going to match three it's going to match two and it's going to match one so how do i ensure that i'm able to have hyphen hyphen three hyphen hyphen for three hyphen hyphen two hyphen hyphen for two hyphen hyphen one for one here as in first this is where you can use callback functions using a callback function with the replace method is very useful as you can do some Something with the characters that are matched and you can define an advanced replacement string which is going to use that match so for this replacement I can convert it to a function this function will receive the match argument and in this match argument I can then return hyphen hyphen then I pass the match and then hyphen hyphen this callback function as a replacement is going to be called on every match in the string so for example we're using this pattern this pattern matches every number so what happens is that this callback function is going to be called on three whatever you return here would replace three then the pattern matches two this callback function will be called on two whatever you return here would replace two and also the same thing happens here the callback function will be called on this this will be passed as argument the match argument argument and whatever you return here is going to replace one now let's see what that looks like if i come here and i run this file you can see we have i am hyphen hyphen three hyphen 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 two hyphen hyphen and then for the last one hyphen hyphen one hyphen hyphen let me extend this so you can see so you can see that the callback function is called on every match and then you can dynamically return a string that is going to replace every match this is where the callback function can be useful as a replacement instead of a string replacement in my next video, which I'm going to link in the description of this video, I'm going to show you a real life use case of this replacement approach. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe and also turn on notifications for more concepts I would be simplifying in JavaScript.